Bienvenidos a Opulent LD TV. Desde St. Paul, Minnesota, directamente a Miami, Florida. Trayéndote todo el fuego. It's the God, Opulent, LDTV, and I'm back. Blessings, tribe. Now, this video right here I'm about to show y'all, in my opinion, has been going viral. So, uh, I'm just say less, and let's just jump into this video. Check it out. Yeah, I've, I've dealt with... You feel me, Chicago women, most of my life. You okay, you feel me? Me and your brother probably sound alike because we done been through the same struggles, you feel me? But I could respect that. I just wanted to know what you was thinking about. That's all that was. It's just weird talking nope. to my little brother, so. No problem. You can't say little. I'm, you, we the same age, darling. Let's be respectful. You sound like him, though. That's so because talking... we from the same place. So you don't like, no, you don't like people from your hometown. I never said and that. And that's respectful. <laughs> I can respect I that. just want a man with a higher vocabulary, okay. which you don't have, on your day-to-day -day speak. <laughs> Speaking to all the other women, trust, I know, you're good. I, 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 I talk like where I was born from, I got, I got a real, like, respect. I, I can't let you, like, you feel me, throw down what I've been through, you feel me? I'm I never a, said what I, you I, went I'm through with. I'm just saying, though, you, 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 you tried, though, darling. No, I you feel it. me? So I want you to know, like... I'm really from struggle. I, I speak a certain type of way, but I've searched for education. I have a bachelor's That's degree. Fine. You feel me? What I what I do right now, I work mm -hmm. with people every day. So I don't want you to just throw shade on hood niggas in general. I wasn't throwing shade on you, Because I speak with a little slang. I got a little hood to me, but I'm mm -hmm. educated, baby. No, that's fine. We can move forward. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. All right, we back. Now, look, before this, there's another part of the clip where she was basically just all in this dude's ass, literally, like, just trying to pick him apart. She was talking shit about uh, claiming that he has a bootleg briefcase. She was basically talking shit about his flower that he put in his jacket. And she even went on to ridicule him about why he wear, why he wear his hat, if his hair was done, and all types of bullshit. And as you guys see in the clip, she also said that that he basically reminds her of her little brothers, like talking to her little brother and then try to say that he has a, vo like his vocabulary is subpar. First off, you barely know this dude. <laughs> you can't even say you've known this dude for a day. So how can you basically judge that he doesn't have a conversation or that his vocabulary is limited? Now that there just shows that this chick is a straight up bird brain. <laughs> straight up bird brain. <laughs> Secondly, let me just tell you what really ate her ass up, right? What really killed her soul is that he said that she was okay. So since she, since he told her she was okay, she just had to make sure that she just had to just try to talk down on the man and make him feel less than. But the great thing about this is that he handled it like a player. You feel me? He handled it like a straight up player. Like he didn't get out of line. Even though, let me say this though, she deserved to be cussed out. She did for playing with this man. But if you see how calm he was, and it just shows that he has emotional intelligence. And like I said, even though she did deserve to get cussed out, but he handled it like a player. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Wham, 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 wham. You know, like, he didn't play with her. He, he didn't want to stoop down to her level. So let me just say that I truly appreciate this brother for not dropping down to her level when he easily could and she definitely deserved it 
I mean, first glance at this chick before she started talking, most people would be like, oh, she's a little cutie, you know, a little light skin. But after hearing her talk, um, she's literally like a bird brain. She's she's built like a 10-year-old boy. Looks like she has like a fake ponytail in her head. I mean, of course, I love all shades, but most dudes will go crazy over just because she's light-skinned, even though, you know, that don't mean shit, really. But clearly, she's had her head blown up by a lot of dudes who ain't used to getting chicks. And so this is what you get. And at that, she's built like a 10-year-old boy. <laughs> she has no womanly body. <laughs> so she's talking about he sounds like her little brother. Shit. She probably, if he has a little brother, she probably is built like his little brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, these type of chicks, man, these are the type of chicks that you literally just want to smash and dash. Smash and dash. You ain't trying to be with them or nothing. You definitely want to do them dirty. And dudes who come across these type of chicks are... They're the reason why dudes never want to commit. After dealing with a chick like this, why would you ever want to commit to a woman? I mean, of course, yeah, you shouldn't blame this chick. You shouldn't, you know, paint the picture of all women because of what this chick possibly done to you. But I can see why a dude would just be like, fuck it, <laughs> after dealing with this type of bra. But yeah, man, I'm glad. Like, again, I'm glad that this brother handled it like a straight up player. And a, and a true man. So, like I said, I love to see this shit. So, in my opinion, this was a great video. Shouts out to old boy. But, yeah, that's all I got in this video. Hop in my comments. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, smash my like button. If you're a true one, smash my sub button. Blessings to the mighty LDBC. I am Oppelin LDTV. Reminding you that when you in these streets, prosper energetically. I'm gone.